Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. And then this is good. Uh. You're not upgrading a uh, ability, so that's that's really really good. Okay. So, first thing. Now, um, when you come into the lane, okay, and I'm not seeing you do it, and I don't know if you're aware of it, you are mm-hmm. supposed to shove, and, and they don't, like, uh, they don't even do this at, like, low diamond one, and it just blows my mind. You need to shove as fast and hard as you can. Okay. Is okay. it worth, like, just leveling flay and just flaying the wave right at the beginning? No. No. Don't do that. Don't okay. do that. Don't do that. Um, because your hook could potentially grant a better opportunity than flay could. You know okay. what I mean? Like in this instance, like if we if we rewind for a little bit, you actually did have hook potential that would have came out and, or resulted in, in a, a favorable trade. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's start for that. Okay. All right. So right here, like, why why didn't it just pause with? Space um, I don't know if this is a problem with my computer, but the resolutions that's coming to me is like really low. I don't know if the resolution of the video is low, or I'm just the resolution th- of the video is a little bit low. Okay. A little. I don't. Like, not like terrible, but it's definitely not crisp. Yeah, it it looks like 480p on. Yeah, that, that's or, how okay. that it's, that's how it is for me. Okay. Um, is that an issue or? No, it's fine. Okay. I, I guess when I record more videos, I gotta play with the resolution then. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, right here, like, you saw, like, uh, Jinx stepped forward for a little bit? Uh huh. Okay, that could have been hook opportunity. Um, it would have result. It, it was, it's a trade, no matter what. <clears throat> but, mm-hmm. like, or alternatively, right here, you can hook Lulu. Um, and, and you have a good. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck my throat. Hold on. Okay. You have a good uh, hook throw, um, because if you hook here, okay, you're playing with both of their minds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because is Jinx going to go left? Is Jinx going to go right? Is Lulu going to go right? Is Jinx going to go left? So you have increased value um, on that hook, even if it misses. And even if it does also miss, um, this minion might die. So you might zone Jinx effectively out of this uh, CS. Okay. Okay? So that's just really minor thing, whatever. And if Ezra- Ezreal's pretty bad... Um, standing back here, this is terrible. Like, Ezreal mm-hmm. should be definitely, like, right here, or he should be even here, like, next to you. Um, being this far back doesn't make any sense, um, especially against a Lulu Jinx, like, level 1, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, but you do need to just, you needed to have came into the lane, and if they're not arrived yet, or they're, like, further back, like, they're standing here or something, you need to auto-attack all of these minions once. Okay. Okay? Because that means if they do out-shove you, and Ezreal elects not to hit it, You've already set up the lane perfectly for that when these minions arrive at tower, the tower hits them once, and then Ezreal just has to hit them once. Okay. Okay, but if you don't do that, and you get shoved back first, and these minions arrive at tower, Ezreal actually can't CS it without his Q being off cooldown. So, should... Since this is not at the ELO where people know to shove instinctively, should I communicate that at the beginning of the game? Yeah, communicate that. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. All right, we good? Questions? Uh-huh. Anything? No. Okay. Okay. She's just trying to poke. Um, I don't. I, I, I don't totally agree with that. Um, and and that's for a few reasons. Um, I'm just gonna go over really quick. So, when you do go in here and you try to poke, like, using the brush and whatever, um, mm-hmm. the issue here is that, okay, you see how you just poked her? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, if you, you know, if you don't pull back into that brush really, really fast, like, you're, you're in vision, these three minions draw aggro to you. Yeah. And that's essentially an auto attack. And then on top of that, Lulu's actually stronger than you, level one, if you don't hit your hook. Because her spell is guaranteed to hit, whereas yours is, like, a skill shot. Like, I know hers is a skill shot, too, but hardly. Yeah. Um, and then Jinx is also going to get a chunk off on you, and Ezreal is not in position to uh, respond. 
Okay, so would that still be a bad idea if Ezreal was in a position to respond? Respond? Yes, because of the Lulu dynamic and the minions. Okay. You know what I mean? Because Jinx is not able to be aggroed by these minions, and it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if Lulu does, because she wants to use her potion anyway. You know what okay. I mean? That's like her goal. So that's just something to consider. Okay. Uh, what if I was in a lane where I had a start, like? where I had more health potions than the other people. Is it okay to go into okay it to be, knowing? Yeah, it's, it's okay to be a little bit more... It's okay to do a trade that is unfavorable if you have bigger sustain. Yeah. That would be like a concept that if you were playing Vladimir or like someone that has like Woda or like, you know, uh, Akali, like I would talk about, you know, very in-depth. Mm -hmm. um, you know that it's an unfavorable trade, but you know it's because of your itemization. Um, it's kind of like... Uh, I forgot what video it was, but... Um, I talked about how there was like a Le I think it was a LeBlanc who was relatively low on mana. It might have been an Orianna. And I told the person, just trade your life for their mana. Because then mm -hmm. they're useless. You know what I mean? Like, you have you have a health potion. Trade that for, you know, a full burst of their, their two spells or whatever. Like, that's completely fine trade. You mm -hmm. know, because then they have to leave lane. Then they can also CS. They're under a lot more pressure. And also, that it demands attention out of their jungler. Okay. Okay. So anyways, um, right now, the game timer. Okay, I'm going to freeze and ask, like, what is stuff to be considered right now? Well, I think their jungler started red because they got to the lane the same time we did mm -hmm. when we leashed. So I'd imagine, like, what I do in the beginning of the game is just look where our jungler is and try to mirror that on the other camp. But I know, obviously, that's not foolproof because some, some clear fists are clear. Yep, yep. Yeah. So it, but it, okay, go ahead. I just know that their jungler probably won't be bot side if he started red, like, anytime soon. Okay. <clears throat> yep, no, well, uh, okay, so they won't be bot, but where will the jungler be? As, you, as Your role as support is not just to care about bot lane. Mm hmm All right? And you need to care about the overall scope. Um, of everything. So it is important to know where he is. So right now, um, I forgot who it was in the loading screen, but there is a way to know their clear times. It only takes like two to three test games, you know what I mean? You just go in to a single player game, or you just watch a VOD of that specific jungler, and you just mark down when they clear what camps. And mm -hmm. you just memorize it. You know what I mean? Like, if I, I, I said this to the, the Lucian that was on YouTube, if I ask you right now what 5 times 5 is, you're going to instantly tell me 25. And you're not actually doing the math in your head. You're just going back to grade school because you have a memory of it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, but then if I were to ask you to do something obscure like 232 times 27, yeah, you're not going to know it off the top of your head. But if you looked at a flashcard for 30 seconds and I ask you that again, then you're going to know the answer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's the same exact thing. There's only like 100 and something champions in League of Legends and only like... 20 of them are viable right now. That's not hard to memorize. You know? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if you're serious about getting better, there's the, you know, the, the bibliological, biblical reference that it, you know, would be a, a way to, to do that. So. Mm hmm. All right. So here, again, keep hitting the minions. Like, don't don't keep going for the poke. You just need the level 2 proc, because the level 2 proc is not just the level 2 proc. It's HP, it's mana, it's increased base damage, you know what I mean? It's all of those statistics. Mm. So it's not just an extra skill. And now here's what I was talking about, about if the lane gets shoved. Now, had you hit those back minions, this is much easier for Ezreal. Yeah. It's still, um, he's still, he still did okay. Still did okay. First blood goes down. Zyra versus Syndra. Don't know uh, how on earth that's possible, but. And now Kajix is at top. Now we know that there's no gank coming. Now, now some, here's something. Here's something. So a gank succeeded in mid, right? Without jungler assistance. Mm -hmm. Where do you think the jungler is now? Uh, Probably heading top, I'd imagine. Does it look like top can get ganks? Well, uh, their jungler. You their mean? jungler, yep. Yeah, I or or counter gank. Uh, yeah, I would think you, so. Okay, you could entertain a counter gank, but it looks like the lane is in favor of Akali, and also that's a Gnosis. Does Gnosis really have gank assistance for a counter gank and a two on two? 
Uh, barely. Ba right, exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense. Right now, I would guesstimate that the jungler was probably going to go mid to support with that first blood, like he was in route. Okay. And then it and just then happened. he just turned around. Right. Yeah. So I would put him somewhere at wraiths or wolves. Okay. Okay, that would be my thought process. All right. Alternatively, mm -hmm. alternatively, uh, he could be counter jungling, like wraiths or something. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I hope you don't mind the the chip shuffling in the background. <laughs> no, I I right. barely hear it. Okay, good. Um, do you mind uh pausing the video? Cause yeah. I have it, the resolution that's coming is like is getting worse. So I think I'm just gonna play Restart. it, or oh. no, just play it on my computer. Just play the file that I sent. Do, oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. All right, we can do it's, that. It, it, yeah, because it's much. How about actually? How about this? Go to uh, let me let me send you the ex exe of this. One sec. Uh, if I can, I don't know. Does that work? Yeah, join me. All right, try that. Uh. This is a it's devoted to screen sharing, so maybe this will uh, because it's not getting worse on my screen, so maybe it it is actually. Yeah, it, like the video I sent, mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's definitely not the same one. Okay. Fucking Skype. Alright, it's, it's twenty oh god, that's gonna take a while. Alright, let's um okay, we'll we'll just let that go and yeah, open up the video on uh, uh what timestamp are you on? I'm at twenty or I'm at four forty two. Okay. I'll just watch it on there and pause it at the same time you do. Okay. That works. Okay, uh, let me know when you're ready. Alright, go. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. That was that would have been really nice if you connected it. It was the right thing to nice, nice. I feel like like it was totally okay to go for that play. Like that was so correct. Um, alternatively, there I is the been able. right. There, there is. I mean, if you hit it, she dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, alternatively, there you could have you could have gone for like a Mata in the sense that you flash flay it, um, because then if they do respond from a flay knocking them backwards, they're in tower range. So that mm -hmm. gives you like you have to think about it as like two to three free auto attacks. You know what I mean? Oh, Ezreal messed up. He should have, um, I'm just going to tell you in the event that you ever have to play AD carry. So, in this, uh, see right here? Uh-huh. The, this minion should have just been killed with his Q instead of hitting them with the Q. Because then it, it hits them with a, t a tower shot. Okay, so you know just I mean? burn down the minion. Burn down the yeah. minion, right, right, right. Um, that would be, that would be huge. That would be a really cute play. Um, okay, so... Had you had you gone for the flash th uh, flay, it might have been better. Also, if you just dropped your lantern, um, Ezreal could get more aggressive, mm -hmm. like with the the you know the shield. So, so here, him recalling is incorrect. You should ping him to stay. You should just communicate it because it's obvious that they can't stay. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Um, so he would have just had this this lane, and this isn't just a normal you know minion wave. It's a, it's a siege minion. So. And just deny her, yeah. Jesus, what is Lulu doing? She's like trying to throw the game, like. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So yeah, now you recall and. Nope. Oh. All right, now you're recalling late. I mean, Lulu's recalled, yeah, but now you're recalling late. So now this mm -hmm. is bad for you. Um, late recalls can can change the game because like right now. All right, so Jinx. I just paused. Um. Okay, Jinx, you know, when factoring and everything in, she's probably right here. 
on the on the mm-hmm. map, right? And she's about to come back in division relatively soon. And as soon as she does, she's gonna CS this wave, and this will be complete. It may be like five. I'm gonna say thirty-seven, ish. You know, she's gonna CS it depending on what gun she uses. If she's smart, she just uses the the rocket and knows how to CS it like that. Um, and then, so right now, Lulu's back at Fountain, and Lulu's probably already moving, and you're not even recalled. So by the mm-hmm. time your recall completes and you're at Fountain, Lulu is at, like, Tier 2, depending on if she's using Whimsy or not, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then by the time you leave Fountain, she's already back here. And So, so you will only... zone Ezreal for a little, right? right? Right, they will zone Ezreal for a little, he's denied CS, and then on top of that, you actually also fall behind in XP, um, because Lulu actually gets to experience more minions. Okay. Okay. So that's why like denied recalls and stuff can actually lose a lane, um, because you know uh, ultimatums get given. Like if you recall now, tower goes down. If you recall now, you lose all these minions. If you re- you know if you don't recall now, then this happens. So uh, learning all those principles are really important. But we'll go okay. over that throughout the you know durations of sessions. The pink ward I don't think is necessary, um, primarily because, like, right now, what's going to happen when you get back to that lane? They're probably going to shove in. They're going to shove into you, right. So you have no opportunity for pink ward. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, and what you do need is you do need a river brush ward or you need a tri brush ward in the event that Kajix, who you just told to come bot, gets counter ganked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because that would be really, really bad. Um, because primarily Kajix is a committer in the sense that he leaps in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you don't you don't want that to occur. Um, and you're you're up against a Kale. Now, it could just be likely that she's just going to sit there and farm jungle, which is like fine, but that that would be the the thought thing. God damn it. Are you using curse voice? I just noticed that. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh Riot, I thought said they're going to ban that though. Yeah, they want they. This was recorded before that announcement was made. Okay. Okay. But they removed all the timers and stuff from it. Anything that was against the terms of service. Okay. 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 See, and this is exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. And now you have that ward, but that ward's not good enough. Like Kajix needs more information. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so Lulu, what did she just do? Uh, what time are you at? I think I'm... 6.32. Oh, I was a little ahead. Um... Uh, I don't know. What did she just do? She just dropped a ward. Oh, yeah. So you have to write that as a timer. Okay. You know what I mean? That's important for your jungler. Then you go in for this flay, and this doesn't totally, like... Okay. Now, there's just so many minions that if they do manage to, like, elude you guys, um, you guys end up taking a shitload of damage. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, Kajix is revealed, you know, blah, 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 blah. I yeah. feel like that could have just waited, like, ten seconds. That would be my opinion. And now, you get the pink ward off, that's fine. Um, but if Kale was, if Kale was there, um, mm-hmm. you guys lose that. That's too many minions. You know, like, in terms of just overall damage onto you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was just my thought process. So just because it works, it doesn't mean it's actually, like, okay. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. um, because as you go up in elo, that becomes a really bad choice. Um, mm-hmm. But it worked out now, so it, it's, you know, it's okay. I would just I would have flayed the lane for him before recall, uh-huh. yeah. or unless you're like faking a recall. I don't know, um, but it would be beneficial probably to get boots now. Um, normally, I I you know I talked about in the Draven video that just came out that getting boots is kind of like pointless in most circumstances. But when you're playing someone that relies on mobility and his positioning, like say you're like playing Rise, Blitzcrank, Thresh, you know, uh, Nami, etc., getting boots is completely fine because the, uh-huh. the mobility actually is a threat in itself. So. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know why people pick Zyramid though. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> doesn't like doesn't do anything. Doesn't offer anything. Okay. Oh, Ezreal. When this happens, well, you don't have it right now, but just throw down the, the lantern, of course. Like, yeah. Alright. Also, some nice things that you can do, okay? Like, see this position that they're, they're in, where, like, they can clearly see you, they're in vision of you, whatever. Now, Ezreal does not have a chance to reciprocate damage. Right? Yeah. It doesn't actually have opportunity. What you can do is you can fuck with the enemy team, and you can throw the lantern into Tribush. Yeah. And, like, you can make it look like Kajix is there. Even if he's not... Just to give him, like, breathing room, Ezreal? To give you yourself breathing room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then they'll be like, oh, okay, Kajix is here. They're gonna, like, start talking to each other. Oh, well, Thrush so bad. Or, uh, like, <laughs> like... But actually, it's just it's just some mind ploy. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes in top lane, uh, I've coached people. None of this is on YouTube yet. I haven't uploaded a session where I say this, but faking to go ward with trinket, but not actually doing it. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I'm that, aware of that. Yeah, that works at higher levels. You know what I mean? Because like Lulu, when I said yeah, she warded, she made it obvious that she warded. Like you could, you know. But yeah. Um, if she didn't, that's like a really big mind game, and then you drop that pink ward expecting to hit a ward, and then nothing's there, and it's like, oh. Like, yeah, the pink ward's still okay, but you, you did get mind gamed. Anyway, so let's continue. Ooh, no. Okay, so, when throwing with Thresh, first off, do you know what the toys technique is? No. Okay. Uh, toys technique, I will go over this with you um, in, a, in a voice call after the session. So basically, yeah. it's uh, it's important when playing like Thresh, Blitzcrank, uh, Annie, Mordekaiser, like uh, Oriana, whatever. Anyway, so right here, okay, where do you want to throw? Now, your, your arc radius is like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where do you want to throw your hook to maximize efficiency? Now, if you specifically only want to get Jinx, okay, yeah. your hook throw, yeah, it needs to be literally where this, these, like, in the middle of her hair needs to be your mm -hmm. cursor, okay? Because then the hitbox will capitalize on this and then also this, depending on her movement, okay? Mm -hmm. So that would be maximizing efficiency. Now, you end up throwing it here, which is a yeah. little too low, you know what I mean? Because yeah, I she... thought she was, like, walking in that direction, so I was trying to right, read right. it. But to maximize efficiency, right now it doesn't matter if you hit Lulu or Jinx, mm -hmm. right? So to maximize efficiency, just throw in between them. Okay. All right? Um, and then if you want to get, you know, a little cuter, then you can do something like you throw like this in between them. So it's like upward a little bit. And that way if Lulu tries to like juke rightwards and down, the hitbox still hits her. And then if Jinx just tries to like continue moving up, it hits her. But it's a little bit different than say this line oh sorry which is just a straight throw in between mm -hmm. because this capitalizes on the wall more okay yeah all right that makes sense do you have any questions on that is that what you just mentioned the toys technique or is that something no, else the toys technique oh, okay. involves a it, it, it's a very rapid succession of clicks with a skill input that artificially increases the range on by like 25. Oh, okay. While yeah. standing I... still. Yeah, it, it, it's very weird. It also enables you to um, to stand still while casting behind you. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know how Thresh has to turn around to throw his hook? Yeah. Okay. With the toys technique, like you would turn around, but then you would end up moving a little bit. Right to b before you throw, unless you just issue the the standstill command at uh, proper distance. You know what I mean? Like you don't mm -hmm. go outside of its maximum range. But with the toys technique, you would turn around and stand still and throw. But then the the game would also register that you moved. Okay. It's it's uh Mad Life does it like all them fucking do it. Um, the reason that it's called the toys technique is because toys discovered it on Oriana. 
Okay. Um, I learned about this from the Samsung coach because he taught it to, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's his actual name. It probably has a different name in, like, Chinese, but, yeah. Um, all right, so, go. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'll go over, like, how to do that and shit after. All right, that was a nice play. And then you should have just lantered him, and he can continue to trade. Because Jinx doesn't have mana for, uh... Ultimate. Rock, yeah. Right. Yeah. Jesus, Zyra is like literally solving world hunger by herself. She's 0 3, I think, right? Yeah. Something like that. So gross. Okay, so in, in situations like this, if you don't want the game to fall behind, now technically the jungler should never gank mid anymore, right? It should be considered a dead lane. So what Kajix mm -hmm. is doing uh, is wrong. So you have, you have like three options you can either voice up and just tell kajix um oh his his name's kazix uh just korean um pronunciation um but you tell kazix um to only gank top or bottom because mid is mm -hmm. dead even if zyra gets a kill right now does it actually matter like no. what is it gonna do you know you have to think about this in the overall scope in the sense like what is it gonna do in a dragon fight oh good mm -hmm. she's gonna have 20 more ap from a fucking ability tome like that doesn't do anything, you know what I mean? But if you can gank for Akali, and you get a kill on Gnosis, and then Akali also gets like 600 gold in CS off that kill, that's a thousand gold. That's like half of a core item, almost. So mm -hmm. that's really big. That's different, you know? If bot lane gets two kills, and it's spread out between three of you, then you gain dragon control, you gain map control, you gain tower, you know, whatever. So yeah. you can either voice that to Kha'Zix, or alternatively, you can shove lane hyper hard and try to roam mid for Zyra. Because while a gank from Kha'Zix would actually be cost inefficient to your team, a gank for you and Zyra is not. Because you mm -hmm. are the support, and then also the AD carry gets extra leveling. You know what I mean? Like, he gets to level yeah. up more because you're not there. You're not eating XP. Um, and then it also enables bot lane to push at a time where they cannot take the tower. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there, there is a, you know, Kajix, it's, it's wrong to gank, but you, you can do a roam gank, you know? Oh. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, any questions on that? So, I would roam to, in this situation, I guess I'd, like, the only choice is mid, right? Or, like, recall and then go top? No, mid, mid, mid. I mean, you can, you can roam mid for Zyra. Okay. You can help Zyra recuperate. It's, in, it's incorrect for Kajix, too. Okay. Now, you don't have to. Um, you know what I mean? You don't have to recruit. And then, obviously, the third option is just stay in lane. And yeah, I feel like if I left in this situation, since we're not really winning our lane... Oh, right, right, like, right. right. I would, uh, as I mentioned, you had to shove it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would have had to have shoved it, like, to right in front of their tower, almost. Okay. Um, like, the edge of that wall. You know what I'm talking about? Like, where the wall creates the intersection going into golems. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Okay. So yeah, you'd have to shove it to about that wall, and then you can go in Rome. Okay. Um, and even if you don't succeed on your roam, you do alleviate pressure um, in mid, and then also you can get deep wards in on red. Because, okay. like, by having deep wards, yes, that would also help mid, but you also help Kajix, you also help yourself. Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. Is all this helping? Is this beneficial? Yeah, okay. definitely. All right. Oh. Okay, so here, like, w when you do this, this is just a mistake. Um, mm -hmm. All right, you can see my screen? Uh, yeah. Okay. So here, you just want to walk either here or you want to walk down here. Okay, Ezreal needs this CS. Okay, he can't afford to miss this. But additionally, you're not in position to trade because look at his fucking HP. <laughs> right? You, you can't trade. So he needs this CS. So how do you give it to him? You walk here, you walk here, you threaten Hook. Well, you what if, like, if Ezreal was trying the CS, they would just, like, flash and auto him once? Like, Oh, well, he can, he can stay back here. Okay. And if they go for the flash and the auto, you chain it with Flay. Okay. Then, you know what I mean? But, alternatively, just go here, go here, and... Yeah. Now, also, if Lulu's really good, she puts her thing on this minion, and she shoots. And shoot it, yeah. But, 
I don't think she's good. So we're gonna see if she's good. Is Luna I don't need. Uh, nope. Yeah. Not good. So um, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my God, Ezreal! You gave him that CS. You did give it to him, but he wasn't standing there. He just literally had to stand at the top left of the tower. He would have been completely fine. I mean, now he's recalled and he has to ulti. And he's not ulting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice. Yep, and, and you can just hook here because you have to recall anyway. So if you miss or not, it doesn't matter. You know okay. what I mean? But you do trade them down a little bit and you won't die off it. So it would be completely fine. Um, you should already be recalling. You should not still be here this point and the reasoning is because now it's getting shoved in and you don't have mana for anything so even though you're here what does it grant you you know mm -hmm. what i mean what are you going to recall and just get like maybe three of these minions in terms of cs okay you're getting some targets, but like this isn't beneficial this is not an effective recall you know what i mean okay does it make s do you do you get why or do you want me to like evaluate like or elaborate more or i mean in this situation they're already like leaving the lane mm -hmm. so why not wait until I burn my Targons, get the XP? Because what's going to happen now that you recall? When are you going to get back to lane? When Jinx okay. will you have you in the same position as before? Okay, I'll do it. All right. That makes sense? Yeah. All right. That's just a dynamic. If you frequently played top lane, you'd know that, I feel. You know what I mean? Like if you were yeah. top main. I mean, okay, now you're letting your mana go up, but you still kind of don't have enough. They didn't recall? What? Yeah, I think they might have went and did golems. Okay. Yeah, see? No mana. You could you could have been here for this, technically. Mm -hmm. You could have already been back. You know, and what would have yeah. changed? You would be just have turned level 7, like a little bit more, like 15% into level 7. It's not a big deal. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You could have yeah. boots. So, yeah. Also, as the mid-game approaches, you'll swap out for coin. I actually haven't been doing that. Is oh. that, like, always better? Yes. Always, always, always. Okay. Always. Because you figure you're never getting last hits anymore. So then how, like... How is target, you know? How is it actually effective? It's not really that good. Um, if you want, like, HP and, like, cleansing stuff, you just get Mikhail's. So, the face crucial. of the mountain isn't a good item in comparison to Coin. Talisman? To, yeah, yeah in, in, to, in comparison to Talisman or Frost, uh, what's her name? Uh, Frost, Fe Frost, Fangs, I Queen, or Claim, or Queen, or something, right. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. No! You could have saved him. You could have saved him and killed Jinx. Okay, so here. What do you do from this position? You gotta do a little- you gotta do a little mad life. I guess just flash, uh, W. Flash, W, like, hook to separate Lulu Jinx. And if Jinx uh -huh. does go for the flash, you ignite, you walk forward, flay box. Um, you can save Ezreal. I think the um, the video you're sending is like three or four seconds, so like when you're saying it and making out the motions, it's delayed. So could you just do that again? Oh, uh, what, what do you mean? Uh, like when you say something and move your mouse, I don't think I'm getting that at oh. the same time. Okay, okay. Okay, so can you see I just drew an L. Do you see the L? Yeah, okay. okay. Alright, so you're going to flash here. Okay, because okay. flash distance. All right, you are gonna throw W onto Ezreal. All right, because okay. he's obviously he has to get to here. You're gonna throw W onto Ezreal. If Jinx elects to flash from here, okay, because she's gonna walk forward before flashing, then you two will first off you'll hook, and then you'll walk forward, okay, flay. So then you do okay. So W is on on cooldown, okay. So now Q's on cooldown. You'll flay here, so you'll E, and then as she's in this, like, radius, okay, you zone out Lulu, who's probably here by now, with box. Okay? Okay. And then you can kill, you can kill Jinx with Ignite. Okay. Alright? 
Mm -hmm. and then just auto attacks and whatever. Um, and then additionally, something like really cute you could do, if Ezreal, for instance, arcane shifted here, and you flashed mm -hmm. here, what's something cute that you can do? Like body block for him for skill shots? Yep, but something even more cute. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, what do you what do you notice about uh, your level? Oh, like uh, auto attack minions to get a level? Kill this minion, give him the passive from Targons, give him the level up. Change the tide of battle. Okay. Okay. And this stuff's important, you know what I mean? Like, this will come up more, especially in, like, level 1 through 3 trades. Minion, minion yeah, to, like, to proc a level I mean, in, the, in this case, we don't know if he's close to level 8, or right. as close as me, yeah. But even if you get the level up, that's big. Okay. So, um, but primarily also because of Targons, the passive. Give him the HP. Okay. You know? Alright, good. Alright. No... Yeah, see? You, you could have easily saved him had you W'd. Yeah. You haven't even used Flash yet. Hook her. Hook that bitch back into those minions. <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> no, she should have just taken so much damage. Okay, so yeah, now just shove this out. There's nothing really you can do here. You know what I mean? So just flare, yeah. hook it, whatever. Get back. No! Don't go for a ward. Okay. So... Why isn't this ward effective? Um, I don't know. It is a correct ward spot. It is necessary. But why is it not effective? Is there any reason for the enemy jungler to come bot in the next 60 seconds? Well, it's a three minute ward. It's right. the uh, site. So I, the... Know that. I know that. Oh, so you mean like You're by the time. You're wasting 60 seconds of it. Well. What if in the situation where I come to lane, and uh, it's pushed and whatever? Like yeah, and I go to ward it, and then she's in that brush. You don't need to ward it then if it's pushed. If you if it's pushed, then you just simply no, ward if, this brush. No, if we're pushed, oh, like if if, if, we're, if we're in the same situation that we are now minion wise, and like I go to ward that. You can ward this from here by placing the ward cursor over this wall, and it'll okay. shoot into this. That's a little trick. Wait, so when I'm... Could you, like, draw X's so I can yep. see? Yeah. Okay. So when you're standing, like, here, you can put your cursor over this, and it'll hit this. Okay. Okay, that's important. Additionally, you can ward this brush by being all the fucking way in lane. Yeah. You know how to do that? Yeah. Like, I, you just... don't have to come around at all. You just place mm -hmm. it over the trees. Yeah. And it goes into the brush. Same applies for top lane. Okay? Yep. Um, well, well, okay. All right. All right, I got that. All right. No, it's it just, it's 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 uh, time inefficient. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, well when I go back either way, I'll You're... get the refresh on the ward. I guess that's true with Sightstone. Okay. All right. I, I, all right. All right, that, that's actually a good counter-argument that I wasn't considering. That is true on Sightstone. If this wasn't Sightstone, though, and you go for the yeah. sword... Okay, all right. Yeah, then I get it. Okay. That is... that. All right, that's nice, though. All right. <clears throat> because you do have to... Well, you don't have to go back right away, but... I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so you get Dragon. That's really nice. Yep. I'm going to recall. Other things to consider are, like, if you're winning your lane, but not really that hard, um, and you guys are having it shoved, you guys can just go back and kill White. Similar to yeah. how they can just go and kill Golem. Yep. Yeah, it seems like it's not as common for people to go to kill White in bot lane as the yeah. other side. Of the... I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why. White's I actually... guess, so. yeah. He actually deals less damage. He's hard, he's easier to kill. Uh, well, I guess just people remember, more, like, but... since White's newer in the game... Right, right, uh, right. People aren't used to it. Oh, God, Ezreal. See, these AD carries are so, so greedy. Like, Ezreal's utility AD carry. Like, yeah, I, I fucked that up, though. I took it, tanked it too long. No, 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 I know that, but Ezreal's yeah. delayed arcane, or, it's, what, oh no, it's called True Shot Barrage, right? Yeah, okay. his ult. Yeah, his yeah. ult's called True Shot, okay. 
Um, yeah, that was so late. God. Ezreal, yeah, Ezreal's utility AD carry. Like, yes, he happens to deal damage, but he's not, like, he's not Vayne, he's not Graves, he's not Lucian, you know? Um, similar, actually, to Caitlyn. Caitlyn's actually utility AD carry. People don't consider her utility AD carry, but, um, do you get what I'm saying by this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. alright. Basically, like, playing Lulu mid. It's a utility AP carry. Yeah, I understand that. Nice, mobile boots. That's a good choice. Now, something that you're not doing, though, is you're not tabbing and you're not using F keys. Yeah, that's um, something I need to get the habit. Yeah, so that's just something that, you know, you'll work on, mm -hmm. like basics. Mm-hmm. Uh... Alright, no one's really around you. If someone was closer, yeah, you could just box or lantern, but... Mm -hmm. I would just stay in the brush there. Um, it doesn't just really matter. Just to, like, create presence, or, like, in case so they don't want to move up? Is that oh, why, or...? Oh. Yeah, you that was... You could, have, you could have chased. You have mobile boots. Yeah. You're What's, right. What Syndra skin is that? I've never seen that ball. It, I can't really see do the low, F, uh, low resolution, but I think it's the Atlantean, the new one. Oh, that's a real skin? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. I thought that was like a uh, fan made. Alright. Okay. So you're targons, yep, you'll complete Ruby Sight Stone, I assume. Next? Yeah. Okay. Wait, uh, probably not. Uh, I haven't been uh, making that. Um... Completing? Nice ward, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But, um,. Yeah, I usually, like, since I, like I said earlier, I haven't been switching to Talisman. I try to finish Face of the Mountain oh. earlier. Yeah, which I guess I'll just stop doing. Yeah, just just leave it at Targon's Embrace to have the lower cooldown on the uh, the passives and stuff. And then, um... Whenever I stop getting gold from it, switch mm -hmm. to... Yep. So why is Ruby Sightstone good, then? Because I, I never thought of it as a it's cost more... efficient... It's more potential wards. Okay. That's literally all that it is, because everything is going to change. So, like, okay, for instance, like, okay, you, you've you run out of, you're almost exhausted on wards, right? You have one mm -hmm. left, okay? So say you have a ward here, you have a ward here, and the fight goes all the way through river, okay? And then there's mm -hmm. that, that brush that leads to dragon, you know, dragons that way. Yeah. Okay, and then there's this wall brush... And there's the wall, and then there's, like, the mid-brush. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. So, would so, it just be good to get it early, like, in case? Not early. Get it when when it's necessary. This is this is this goes back to time efficiency. Like, when yeah. the laning phase is still healthy, and your mid's warding, your jungle's warding, your top are all warding, and there's not these contested fights that are going to go through several brushes and, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. around many corners, you don't need it. You just don't, okay. you know. Well, then what item would be better use of my gold at that time, then? Complete coin. Complete talisman. Okay. Um, or alternatively, depending on, like, the matchup or something. Like, if they have, like, a rise, like, top, a Leona support, and, like, uh, I'm just using weird example. Like, a Pantheon mid, and then, like, a Warwick jungle, you need to fucking get Mikhail's. <laughs> like... You yeah. need to really complete that, like, by mid-game. You know what I mean? Like, Ruby Sightstone can take a backseat, Talisman can take a backseat. You need Mikhail's. Okay. You know? All right. I'm just double-checking. the. Mikhail's, Mikhail's doesn't stop suppression. It doesn't stop okay, suppression. Yeah, I'm just, a... like, in terms yeah, of, that's... you know, I know I used Warwick as an example and whatever, but... Um, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. So, all right. All right. You ready? Yep. All right, now let's just skip around a lot, because I told you that I, I just want to approach the layman's. You know what I mean? Okay, so nice dragon fight. So I'm at, uh, if you're watching, nine, uh, I'll pause to let you get here. Hold yeah. On. I'm at uh, 1957. Okay. Okay, all right, go. Play.
Don't like. Whoa. Okay. So you were gonna flash. <laughs> but yeah. you hooked that early. That doesn't make. You know what I mean? Now, first off. Okay. So, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna flash, then just don't even hook yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Use your I, hook last. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I was in the mindset where. I realized I needed the flash after I missed. Like if like I hit the hook initially, then I wouldn't need the flash. That's what I okay. guess I was thinking. All right, but mm. I mean, you know, you were nowhere near in range to hit that hook. Yeah. Okay. So let me um, just talk about something uh, with you that you may or may not have a perspective on, and w you may do it subconsciously, but not have a cognitive control over it. But when you have cognitive control over it, it's that much more powerful. Um, so you know how Blitzcrank, if Blitzcrank is here, and the enemy is here, and the enemy is running here, Blitzcrank can collide with him around here, right? Yeah. Okay. So if Blitzcrank can do this, is it correct to grab or to knock up first? Uh, probably just walk up to them and... Walk up, knock up, yeah. walk backwards, grab. Yeah. Maximize, you, like, it's such a maximization of efficiency. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So in the same respect, if Thresh can flay before hooking, do that. Okay. So if you're gonna flash in, and you're gonna box, and then you're gonna go for your flay, walk the fuck back here and tell that bitch to come to you, man. You need to put on your scorpion mm -hmm. mask. Like, so, yeah. Alright, does that make sense? Yeah. All right. That doesn't just apply to Thresh. That applies to all champions that have similar mechanics. It's kind of like a rise, like Eing before U W. You know what I mean? If you can get that off or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Morgana using her ultimate before using her snare. You know, if it's yeah. guaranteed to to get the proc. You know, all yeah. that stuff. I think I do it more so on like a Blitzcrank or Morgana than uh. You eat so much. Se well, I guess you do have targets, but you're not autoing to get it. Like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you're very hungry. Like, oh, oh my god, she just doesn't fucking die. Oh, he, she's dead though. Okay, so when all this happens, what's your first thought? So now Wait. complete ruby. Okay. Okay. Now, as soon as everyone kills bottom, they should recall. And where is everyone going? Well, one person's going top, probably Kajix. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that, I mean, that would just be correct uh, for Kajix to go top. Alternatively, what are you going to do? You're going to... So I'm just going to use the mini-map for this. Okay. You are going to go straight down mid. All right. la di da di da You're going to get this ward. All right. Dragon's nothing to worry about. So you're going to... That color's not good. Let me use, like, red. Okay. You're going to get... Wow, red's not good on that either. What the fuck? Uh, black? Okay. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna get this ward. Alright. And then you're gonna come over here. I'm gonna use yellow for this, because the terrain's different. You're gonna get this ward. You're gonna get mm -hmm. this ward. Okay? Because these are the most important parts. And then, with those wards and still having ruby sightstone, you still have wards in your inventory. So now, if a barren contestion goes off, and you guys end up cutting up through, you know, left side river, you can still ward this brush, you can still pop a ward here, you can still pop a ward at barren. It'll deplete the wards that you had previously, but it's because they're no longer considered useful. They're, no, okay. they're not effective. They're not effective vision. So, you need to have effective vision. That's, okay. That's I hope this I hope that gives you a, a new perspective on Ruby. So, um, for the third ward, why wouldn't it be better to just um, just make, just not have the second ward? Because like if I have the third ward and see them walk, like I'll know when they would be passing the third ward. Right, but it's the it's the high ground advantage. You can shoot a skill shot over the wall, or you can hit them with auto attacks over the wall. Whereas normally you temporarily don't have vision of them. Okay. You know what I mean? That's that's mm -hmm. just why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, go. I'm at um, uh, 21 20. Alright, I'm um, with you. You could play. Okay. So let's see what you do.
So, um... You, 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 did, you did go for a ward. I mean, I, I just wanted to... Yeah, so go ahead. Ask your question. Uh, for the uh, red trinket, or the sweeper trinket, do you recommend only using it when you see them place a ward there, or just try to use it whenever it's up in places where wards are likely? Uh, use it whenever it's up in places that wards are likely when you have opportunistic timing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Does that makes sense? All right. Go. There's no Kajik has to shove this. Akali should probably get top tower, to be completely honest. Mm hmm. That, should, that would be my opinion. Kajik is going to get red, and now you need a ward in mid. Like, you need it. Uh, do you know where to place the ward in mid? The same place you put the X over earlier? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah. yeah. Um, there is a, a, a specific, like, small area, like, radius that is, it's optimal because it shows into the sides. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to be that critical, but um, if, if, when the spot comes up, I can just pause and show you. Mm-hmm. Also, um, the ward inside pink, when you're going to have it in there, uh, let me just go back for a second. Let's do a little thing about this. This is very nitty gritty. It, did, it probably will never change the outcome of a game, but if it could, then just do it. Um, if you're going to drop the pink ward, I, I'm unsure. Did you drop it? I can't. I'm, I'm not. I don't remember. Okay. But if, if you do, okay, um, I want you to drop it a little bit further back, literally almost on top of dragon, like here, or sorry. Drop it like here, because this will still see if they place wards in the general location, right? It may not. It yeah. will see a ward like here or whatever. That's fine. But what does this make it? What does this do? Uh, when they walk by it, like if they're at the top of the river, they won't see it. If they're at the very top, they won't see it. But then on top of that, it can actually just be used as a trap. Okay. They're committed okay. inside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. That's yeah. Um. Yeah. That makes sense. I didn't. I never thought of that. Okay. Ugh. Oh shit! Sorry. Ah. Oh! Oh, the combos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't Falco. All right. So. All right. That's fucking. That was good. All right, that was really good. Okay, um, now, all right. So Lulu and Jinx are at bottom. And yeah, th this is where the game I think takes a turn for the worse. Really? Okay. Yeah. You guys are in such powerful control right now. Oh my god, just just box him. Just just. I would box before hooking. Um, just because it it gives Kajix breathing room, and then it also allows Kajix to have maneuverability through the, the remaining sides of the box. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Nasus would be slowed, and then he would inherently turn around. And because he's slowed, Kajix gets a hit. And then you yeah. hook him, and Kajix gets two more hits. But okay. if, you do it with, if you do it hook into box, Kajix hits him, has to turn around. He can only hit once off the hook, instead of hitting twice. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. just, it's a little nitty-gritty, like, small thing. So... Mm -hmm. So now, again, like, the, the map is, it's not dark, but do you see how, like, the ward coverage that you have right now, it's not efficient. Yeah. I okay. Agree. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. All right. Good. Just want to make sure. Nice. This ward is perfect. I was actually just going to talk about that. Good. All right. Now, that hook's bizarre because there's no one to follow up with you. Yeah. I, I, I remember thinking yeah. that when I did it. Okay. Like sometimes I don't know if I was thinking at that time. Mm -hmm. Like if I don't know, if I know that behind me wasn't warded in that case, like I might make the enemy think 
that I had allies behind me. So they might have a misconception about where my teammates are. But, Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, I, yes, yes. But what is that really now? You know what I mean? Like, what is that really? Mm -hmm. Like, I know what we talked about earlier about like throwing the, the lantern into the brush to fa you know, yeah. feign a Kajix, um coming, but what does that really get you in this position? Yeah, okay. You know, it's only like dragon or something. Now, if you do it like you're coming from Baron or something, mm -hmm. it could make you think, oh shit, they're capping Baron. Maybe. Yeah. You know? Um, oh, hook, 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 hook. Jump the wall. Yes. Box. You just have to kill her. If you kill Lulu, it's Baron. Yeah. No. I ended up the box. <laughs> All right. If you kill her, it's Baron. So that's, that's primarily why. Because they don't, they can't, like, Gnosis can't do shit without Lulu's ultimate. You mm -hmm. know, it, given the team comp that they're presented with. Um, so without Lulu there, it's just, it would be a mess. And look at Jinx, she would have shown up at bottom. Yeah. So. I, I, I notice when I'm playing Thresh, I do end up boxing too late and people like it casts right on top of them and it yeah. ends up missing them that might be like, your fps though or not fps that might be your ping right yeah i'm on, it's like 90 to 130 usually oof oh that's painful oh god all right yeah, 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 yeah. i'm on east coast uh and thank I, you riot well isn't the new york server supposed to go up i i, I don't i don't like know yeah i didn't sure. hear anything about that in recently no. thought it would be new york but Oh, I don't know. Be nice if they finally get a server. Okay. So let's just fast forward again. I just want to see a Baron. Oh, is this a fight? No. Okay, Baron fight. All right, good. So here, like, what do you need to do? Nice. You're coming in from behind to get these wards. These are deep. Yeah, these wards are correct. Um, additionally, um, what is something else that you have to ward? Uh, what time are you at? I am 20. at... Uh, 27, 24. Okay, it was like 10 seconds. So where else would I have to ward? Yes, in the event of a Baron Contestion. So you what have did... this ward. You have ward coverage over, over uh, Baron. You have mid shoving, but mid is not important right now. Yeah, uh, would okay. it be like the blue side? Yes. Uh, like right the entrance of blue? The entra well, No, not the entrance, the, the ward to blue. Or the, the, the brush that like oh, okay. can go into. Because mm -hmm. if you chase, if, you know, they disengage and they go through that, you want vision over that brush. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then additionally, as you're chasing, you know, if you're coming through, like, here or whatever, you might want to pop a ward here, like, into that brush, depending on if they yeah. try to, you know, because top tower is still up. This is a very abnormal situation um, in the sense that top tower still exists, and that might create false comfort because that's hardly going to really do anything for them at this point in the mm -hmm. game. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. All right. Go. Nice, nice. You did ward it. That's good. Yeah. That's great. Okay, good. And then you still have one. No, you didn't need to ward Baron. If you have ward coverage around Baron, you don't have to ward it. So, if you could have just warded that that brush over to the left, like where Syndra's avatar is right now on my screen. Yeah. Just ward that brush, because then you know if they're getting Baron or not. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just used to warding it. Like in a position where you're behind, you want to see the Baron's health. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, let me let me adjust this and go through this frame by frame. <laughs> so here that should have just been a hook onto Syndra. Okay? That that's in, in my opinion, that should be a hook on Desyndra. Um, and the reasoning for this is because, yeah, Kale is there to protect her with ultimate, whatever. Kajix is totally within, like, leap combo range, right, if you hit the hook. Um, and then additionally, they only have a few of their people here. They can't, okay, so. they can't go on for a full-on fight. So hook her, wait, and pull yourself to her after that, right? Her ult's going to be up. Then you'll create box... This is specifically because they do not have everyone here. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is only because of that. If, like, fucking everyone's here, like, all five people, then this isn't a correct hook, right? You'd have to position yourself up and try to make your way through that. But in this specific, you know, instance, hook her, wait, delay, okay? Because maybe Kale will cast her ult, like, instantaneously, in which case you want to maximize how fast you pull to her to potentially get more damage out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so then you'll pull to her... Oh, fuck, sorry. Um... You'll pull to her, and then as you're on top of her, you'll box, and that might even hit Kale, because Kale is obviously moving forward. Mm-hmm. Okay? So you'll trap them both. Kodrix will jump. He'll probably land, like, here. Okay? His W is going to go down. It's going to create the slow. Your teammates over here, they can all follow up on this. Okay? And as one of them are running, what? What's happening? They're both, like, in this, like, radius. Right? Mm-hmm. It's way too easy to hit a hook. One of them's getting chunked. You know what I mean? One, One's going down. If one of these people fall, even if you have to blow flash, even if you have to blow ignite, even if you have to flash in and lantern back to, like, Ezreal over here or something, or Akali, um, if one goes down, you get Baron. And mm-hmm. as you go through Baron, just drop a ward here. Or, not here, I'm sorry, like, here. Okay, because obviously you guys would go into Baron through, like, this way, and then also just like that, right? So you want to see if you're being chased over here, because you already have a ward over here. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. That sense? All right. That good? Any questions on any of this? No. Okay. All right. So the fight, you know, yeah, Nasus is here, but Nasus wouldn't really matter because you just Mikhail's uh, the slow. No. And now you're going too far forward. Like, Akali's getting yeah. beat-sticked. Like, you could chain Kale. You know what I mean? Rather than going after Syndra and, like, being, you know, there with Kha'Zix to try to do anything to Nasus, just protect the carries. Mm-hmm. Ugh. All right. So now we... Is that Baron for that? Oh, wow. Do you guys lose the game off that? Uh, I... Maybe. Okay, so now you kill Video. Nasus. Who else is down? Uh, let me actually, yeah. Because this actually affects what I'm going to say. So mid inhibitor's up. Is anyone else down? Right, let me just see. Did you get home guard? Yep. Okay, you did. I, w- I would buy two wards. Um, even if you had ruby sightstone, also buy like two green wards. Okay, that's something I normally don't do, so I guess I'll... Like, and, and that's just because, again, effective vision is now so important. So, mm-hmm. you might drop seven wards in 30 seconds, if it is necessary. Yeah. Especially because the position that you're in. You're going into a contested, dark Baron fight. So, like, three wards is not going to be enough. Like, okay, you have that ward, you need the other brush warded, you know what I mean? You, if you guys chase or disengage, then you're going to need to ward red, you're also going to need to ward, he- you know? Like, that's why, um... Sightstone isn't just enough. Mm-hmm. What is that? All oh. she's trying to plant a garden in the middle of the river. I don't know. All right, so you guys got Baron. Yeah, their Jinx ended up backdooring two and Hibs. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, that's not worth Baron. It's it is worth Baron if you can hold, but then Kajix decides that he's gonna go man mode into Kale and. <laughs> All right. Oh oh, please tell me. Okay, yeah, nice. We good. That's great. That's really good. Oh my god, no. Akali, you can kill her. What the fuck? Why did Akali hesitate? I mean, yeah, Nasus comes out of vision, but she couldn't have known that. I mean, yeah. it doesn't actually, like... I don't I don't know. I, I feel like she, should, she can easily go on to her and then escape back into her shroud. And then with you and uh, Ezreal being there, even if Nasus comes, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So you should have just pinged, uh, if, if, as soon as you saw that she was hesitating, you should just spam ping it. On the Lula. enemy? Yeah. Yeah, Lula. okay. Okay. Now you get Negatron, and I don't, like, I don't mind it, because, yeah, Kale, Syndra, you know, whatever. But mm-hmm. the people that you're gonna be close to is more commonly probably gonna just be Jinx and Gnosis. Okay. You know what I mean? So the GA would probably be better here, because you already have the MR from Mikhail's. Okay, I, I was like kind of, I, I mean, think, the, the chain mail, the chain vest. I don't remember what I was building. I think I was going to go um, lock it, like for the team. Is that, yeah, is that 
not really a good item. I I, haven't, I don't see it built that often, so I don't know if it's still good or not. Locket's okay, but usually it's good against dive comps. Like, comps that go all in and they rely on resets, and the locket kind of yeah. fucks that up. Um, and then obviously there's some other uses for it. I mean, we can go over this, like, I can answer this in, like, text and, and inspect yeah. it. Um, but I would, at this point, completing GA could be a nuisance, but you do have to go into something armor. Um, because you already okay. have the MR, and you're just taking, like, yeah, you have 100 armor right now, but it would be better to have more, because the people that you're going to be dealing with are, like, Jinx, Gnosis. Kale is hybrid, so it doesn't, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. You just want to be tankier in uh, that regard. Jesus. Alright, so it looks like this game's... Oh, God, that's so sad. I feel so bad for you right now. She's, like, trapped, like... <laughs> 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 like fucking jigsaw like. alright okay so it looks like that is that for that, the game yeah. yeah okay so any closing questions uh no okay um alright then uh we'll meet again um and then that one will be much more in depth in terms okay. of positioning critique and stuff now that all this has been sort of addressed I'll so yeah, um go ahead. since I play two roles mainly is it better for, like, to keep playing Thresh in order to focus on that for now, and then maybe on the second half do jungle? When you're when you're trying to sculpt a champion pool, only contain, like, four to five champions per, like, just per pool, um, and try to have them share lanes. So, obviously, you're in a predicament where you can't because, obviously, Thresh can't jungle, right? Like, that's yeah. just bizarre. Um, but, like, you... Like, so, when, you, when you're a support main, that gets a little bit awkward, and also when you're an AD carry main, um, but try to sculpt your champion pool around containing only four to five champions, or, like, six, because the likelihood of them always being banned out or not being effective to the team comp is very unlikely. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to, like, figure out what jungle <laughs> champion, like, suits me, because, like... Well, don't play it, listen. And don't play Lee Sin without being below 60 ping. Just don't do it. Yeah. Don't play Lee Sin's said. not someone I play. Yeah. Uh, I used to really like Hecarim, but I feel like he's too weak now to get going. Try. Like, I use... Like, he go, go, hmm? go ahead. I was, I was going to recommend... Been, go, go, I'm sorry. In, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been playing uh, Skarner and having a lot of success with him, like going Feral Flare. And that's the only one I feel, the only jungler I feel, like, super confident on at the moment. Alright. My recommendation is to stop playing Skarner. Like, okay. Right, even if you're, you're really comfortable on him and, you know, whatever, there's reasons no one plays him. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I could, like, outline them all and whatever. I mean, I'm sure that you've read threads and stuff on why people don't play him. Yeah. But, um... A jungler I'm gonna recommend to you, if you like like that concept and how Skarner plays and stuff, that just does it better in like every single way, um, is Nocturne. Yeah. I would just recommend start playing Nocturne. Because he's really good right I, now. Yeah, I've been I've been trying Nocturne, like for that reason, but I just haven't had success on him at all. Maybe I'm like building him incorrectly. Like I'd try to get Feral Flare and then depending on the situation either go blade or like randuins feral flare bork uh yeah blade of the ruin king yumaws infinity edge randuins and then his boots so, are usually tabby or merc treads so just pretty much go straight damage with he's off tank he he's kind of like aurelia in a sense okay. he he he's hybrid like yeah, I, I I only go ever as far as uh feral flare and then blade never Yomus or IE or anything like that. I'll um I I'll give you I'll give you a rune page and mastery setup and then I'll give you some of uh builds regarding Nocturne. Okay. All right, I'll do that in Skype. Okay. All right, okay. and then uh yeah we'll set up something um for next week or so. All right. Okay. I'll all right. just. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. Right. You too. Bye.